This is a quick demo of what a WebP registration looks like between the Paceform WordPress blog and a Paceform authority. The purpose of this demo is to show how easy the public key registration process is when using a browser-based registration mechanism. Uh, if you want to try this demo out for yourself, you will need to get the Paceform WordPress plugin uh, from uh, GitHub. So basically, if you uh, want to do that, uh, just Google uh, Paceform WordPress GitHub and it should bring you to this page. Uh, after that, it's just a matter of uh, either uh, checking out the source code or there's a link further down on the page on where you can actually download uh, the final uh, package for WordPress. Installing the plugin is just like uh, installing any other WordPress plugin. Uh, the demo also uses uh, a uh, Paceworm developer sandbox, so if you don't already have an account on dev.paceworm.com, uh, you will need to get one. So once you have your Paceworm WordPress plugin installed on your WordPress site, uh, go ahead and uh, go down to the left menu, and under plugins, there will be a Paceworm entry. Uh, and basically what we're going to do here uh, is just register uh, a web key. We're going to generate a new web key and then register it with the Paceform Authority. This is a three-step uh, process, but uh, most of it's just going to be hidden from us because we're using a nice front end to do it. Um, the uh, three steps are uh, generating the public-private key pair, then uh, registering the web key, the public side of the web key, with the Paceform Authority, and uh, the third part is that uh, the Paceform Authority will then send an encrypted message back to the WordPress site uh, telling us uh, what the final configuration values are for the web key. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, right here is the uh, Paceform Authority that we want to use. This can be whichever uh, Paceform Authority that we trust the most. Uh, for the uh, demo, we're using dev.paceform.com. Um, we would uh, normally, uh, this will just generate a, a new key pair. We're just going to use the same one we have right now. And then we're going to basically click on register this site. Now a pop-up is going to appear uh, that uh, asks us to sign into our Paceworm authority. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And once I'm in, it's going to say, uh, it's going to ask me a couple of options uh, that I want to set for uh, the web key. So. Uh, the only thing that I want to use this web key for is just to list things for sale since I'm doing it through a blog. Um, I want to associate it with my blogging identity on uh, the Paceform Authority. Uh, I want all deposits to go into this financial account, my blog uh, financial account. And uh, then I want to name it with something that's uh, easy to remember. So uh, my blogging uh, access key. So that's the access key I use for my blog. And then I click register. And what happens now is an encrypted message is sent back to the WordPress site. It says registration is successful, and it's as easy as that. That is what a web key registration looks like when you're using a, a nice uh, web front end.